You have to charge it and charger coming over here you just plug it in and you can use a block from your phone or any block or just connect to your USB like in the computer or laptop okay so I already charged this gimbal so before turning on you have to connect to app okay depending on the platform you use android or ios 
I'll use Android today for demo. Okay. I'll take uh, the scan and I'll scan it by scanning. It'll give me pop message where you can connect it and it will connect me directly to Google Play. I click install, it's call up iSmart Go. Just connecting it and it will start to download it. Okay, so once it downloaded, it will be installing. So once it's installed, you would have to act, uh, to turn your GPS first, location to be on, and then Bluetooth on. It will uh, ask you for allow. He says yes. And right now, we need to put this phone to set it up over here by pulling this two part like this okay I just pushing this way okay and you need to find balance what I'm gonna do I'm gonna move to the different side right or left to make sure it's balanced a little bit this way no this way so you have to find balance like this so now it looks like it's balance and now it's time to turn this gimbal on the bluetooth as i already turned on we need to find this app we just installed okay it's called iSmart go so i click on it and then connect device and then you need to turn over here the power you turn it on by holding it okay looks like it's on it will search and it find one click connect over here and it's connecting and then you click allow to use your device and I allow you use your audio recording yes and this is the way you will set it up so you just move this finger and it will move very smoothly So you can put on your tripod to test it how it works and on the left side there is settings every phone might be a little bit different but this on android you can put a grid if you want this camera settings anti-shake protection and then um, you can just uh, go through all the, your options you want to set and once it's ready, you can start to record it. You just press record over here and it should start to record it. Like this, you see? And then if you move this button, you will record. And you can move very smooth nice